they find one pair. Yes, and that is what we are doing teaching the children to be able to welcome strangers, to love strangers, to love one another, as it is written in the Bible. We should all join hands that side of is a better country, a country of dignity, free of nepotism, rebellion, corruption, Bible, and violence. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are we school today? Good morning. What are you taught today at school, my dear? We are taught about catechism and change. Wow, catechism and change, that is great. But my dear, what do you think catechism and change must be taught at the primary school? Oh yes, my dear, catechism and change must be introduced to the school people as everything must have a foundation. And this is going to be our topic, our nation. So Sierra Leone is an English-speaking country because we are once colonized by the British government. Is that not so? Yes. So, of course, all, all over the world, people know about the country Sierra Leone. It says Sierra Leone was a very unique country in history because it was here the first free slaves we are deported. Is that not so? From England. Is that not so? That was in 1878. Is that not so? That was the first, it was the first place for free slaves. That's why they named the country, the capital city, Freetown, which means freedom for what? For slaves. Freedom for slaves. What do you hope to do? What do you want to do one day? Me, I want to be, become banker. Banker? That's good. That's why I'm studying art. Let my teacher teach me. Me, I would like to be a doctor. A doctor? Science and agriculture. Because for me, I want to become a pilot. A pilot? To fly aeroplanes? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. That's why I'm studying art. I'm becoming a pilot. Uh-huh. What subjects do you like? It was during the war that I had the inspiration of working with children and the way I saw children having guns, moving about, killing people, children who are to be our future leaders, that gave me the inspiration to start. It's because this community is a very, very, very rough community. If you come here in the evening, you will see what I am saying. It's a very rough community. The boys are smoking, drinking, and for us to be able to get the mind of these children, we need to have something going that will deviate their minds from what is going on in the community. And I think the only thing that will be able to deviate their mind is to give them education.